Today I'll be tackling another challenge. I'll be doing a painting in 10 minutes, one minute, and 10 seconds. To give myself one more little catch, I'll be painting outside. You're probably wondering what we're even gonna paint today, and you guys know I love urban sketching, which is one of my goals for this year. I have my little viewfinder, so let's see what we're gonna paint. I was on a walk and couldn't help but fall in love with this foliage. I made sure to set up right in front of my subject. This is my sketchbook spread that I'll be painting in. Got my viewfinder right here, which will help me determine what it is that I'll be painting today. Since it's gonna be 10 minutes, one minute and 10 seconds, I kinda make sure it's a little close so there's not too much detail and we're not gonna get a little too crazy. The aspect ratio is exactly to the size that I'll be painting the little windows of the paintings. We'll be doing 10 minutes first, one minute after 10 seconds, and then maybe a surprise one at the end. Oh, and by the way, I'll be using gouache the whole time, going straight in with some paint and a paintbrush. Yeah, no time for pencil today. I've already pre-toned my surface. And I also have my paints ready right under. I will also be starting off with the 10 minute painting and I'll be setting a timer. Ooh, I'm pretty nervous, so hopefully this will go well. Let's get started. All right, here goes nothing. 10 minutes on the clock. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so there's a lot of pressure here. Actually, I'm gonna start with the leaves around to try to capture the overall composition. And then I'll try to go into as much detail as, as possible in this 10 minutes that we have to paint this. I'm going to keep it very loose also and we'll see what's going to happen as we go on. I love doing these challenges because I think the best way to get yourself to begin painting without the stress of even thinking about what you're painting just really observing and getting to it no excuses it's the best way especially with this these kind of challenges using a really large brush I see some little branches so let's get those in one two, three, okay, two minutes down, let's get the shape of these leaves down, 10 minutes is actually plenty of time to create a painting. Just really focusing on trying to find the light also. Definitely a challenge, but it's fun. Oh boy, I should have put white out. Decided to go with a light green. Let's see what we can do with some dry brush while we're at it. Looking all right so far. Got a bright yellow leaf right there. Some more branches. I think I'll be switching extra time, get an extra time to switch the brush. All 
All right, so I have to hurry up. I realize I'm getting a little too comfortable here. Got some leaves down there. This is definitely a lot harder than I thought, but this is really cool to see what you can create with just a short amount of time. Let's see, let's try to get this branch a little bit more solidified. Keeping it loose today, this is the real test to keep everything loose. See if we can punch out here so this gets darker. Mixing paint definitely takes extra time from this challenge. Okay, let's see, got a little bit of time left. All right. Got 10 seconds left. All right, let's get some last little details in here. And time. Okay, that's a pretty loose little painting right there. Looking kind of abstract. Oh boy, I hope the one minute one will be better. Let's see what we could do. All right, I'm really itching on putting in details here, but it is what it is. So let's go on with the next one. And this one's gonna be one minute on the clock. So let's see how it's going to go. Let's take out our brush once again. One minute on the clock. I have my timer ready. Here we go. In three, two, one, and start. Okay, we got one leaf here. I'm going to be shocked if this one's going to turn out better than the 10 minute one because, you know, sometimes that happens. And since I already kind of know the subject, oh no, I need some blue here. Okay. It's also harder to talk and paint at the same time. Gotta put in all these leaves, branch, branch, branch. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Almost there. One. Ah. See, the branch is gonna go here. Here, this little guy right there, and a big guy up here. And two, one, time. Okay. All right, well, for some reason, that looks good. I'm actually shocked at how simple but nice that looks. I'm okay with it. So let's see, maybe the 10 seconds will come out even better. I actually really like it, the simplicity of it. I guess this is all we got time for in one minute, but <laughs> let's see what we're going to do with 10 seconds, guys. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm totally procrastinating this and nervous. Three, two, one, and let's go. One leaf, two leaf, three leaf, four leaf. Got a little branch right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, and time. Why does that look better than all of them? <laughs> wow, just look at the way the sun is hitting that right now. I actually love that little abstract section right there. Wow, here's to prove what happens when you don't overthink and you just paint. painting the sun and the lighting will always change and the sun is actually directly here now so why don't we do one more painting over here and we'll do 100 minutes here how about that i'm gonna take i'm sweating out here it's a really beautiful sunny day but it's pretty hot and i think i'm gonna take a quick breather shake it out a little bit and while we take a break i want to let you guys know about today's sponsors 
Canvi offers room mockups to create stunning showcases of your artwork. I've been creating mockups on my own, but ever since I found Canvi, I was so pleasantly shocked on the amount of variety you have. You can simply upload your artwork or image right into their website, and it generates your artwork in a room. This is perfect to achieve professional results. Having your artwork showcased in a clean and presentable room will allow customers and others to see how it would look up on their wall. I love how everything is exactly to size, so when I'm uploading my artwork, I can easily visualize how it looks when it's hanging. You can change the colors of the frames, the colors of the wall, the colors of the furniture. It's all customizable to make your art look great. I find this suite incredibly useful, and it also saves you tons of time. It's also super fun to see your art in different room settings. You can try out Canvi by using my link, it's in the description, and that way you can have two months of free access to Canvi. Thanks Canvi for your support and your awesome ideas. And I think I'm ready now to try one more painting. But just for the fun of it, let's see what we can do in 100 minutes, shall we? Look how beautiful that lighting is on the foliage. I am so excited. The sun actually changed. I've just been hanging out here and it's pretty bright and sunny. So let's try to capture this light. All right, today has been a successful day of painting. This was a lot of fun and thank you so much for watching. I definitely recommend trying this out if you need to loosen up and just get out of that feeling that you're stuck. If you're someone who seeks perfection and doesn't really begin painting because you think it has to be perfect and super detailed, this is really great and I've proved to myself that simply staying loose and timing yourself 10 minutes, one minute, and even 10 seconds can show you how important it is to just let your intuition lead the way, especially when you're painting and even sketching. I am now gonna go get some shade. It's quite hot, but I will be traveling next week, so maybe we'll do some more urban sketching. Can you guess where I'll be? Tune into next week's video to find out, and I'll see you guys then. Bye!